Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Normally, we're off somewhere in the van or doing something like that. Well, it's actually the night before the main event and that is we are racing a retro race tomorrow. You're not allowed to change too much, but you're allowed to change grips and pedals. So obviously we're gonna do that to make the most of the rules. And then you get things like a five second penalty if you've got front suspension, if you've got rear suspension, if you've got disc brakes. Well, I've pulled out all the stops and I've actually gone and parted with my hard earned cash, a bike, a retro bike that was a bit of a childhood dream and I'm just gonna give it to my dad after this race anyway. So I suppose you guys wanna see it. Here she is then guys, my Volvo Cannondale F700 got a lot of inspiration for one of these bikes from the Martin Ashton legend himself and also some of the Cannondale riders back then were pretty epic Cedric Gracia, Brian Lopes etc. Volvo Cannondale F700 with head shocks which aren't actually all that good if I'll be totally honest. This was one of my childhood dreams. Um, I did want the blue one though. I wanted to try and get the blue one with the yellow head shot. This bike is actually a 1997. So that's pretty old in my eyes. 23 years old. Mechanically, she's actually pretty sound. I've already changed the bottom bracket on her. One thing I have realized is the front shifter doesn't actually work. So I think it's a case of leaving it in the middle ring and then it's hopefully not going to fall off. These things are literally 20 years old. We're going to put the volts on there rather than the original V8s just for the fact that we've got bigger surface area. You know, my gangly little feet It'd probably be for the best. Put some death grips on there. It's obviously realised we can't put the oil stem cap on there because it is the head shock. So we get all that changed over, get it ready and ready for tomorrow's race. Look how good that goes with that. Oh. Look at that already, look. She is ready to rip. Look how narrow these things are. Ridiculous. She's got the oi oi saddle on, she's got the vault pedal, she's got the def grip, changed the BB and the shifter doesn't work. But all in, I think this is a pretty good steed, ready and raring for the retro race tomorrow. Definitely don't think it's gonna be the oldest, but it's pretty unique with the retroness of it. Stem is that long that we can almost fit my mascot on there. So that's obviously what we're gonna do. It's a case of going to bed, getting ready, getting prepped, or just having a few beers because it is a Saturday night. See you guys in the morning. Oi, oi. As always, start the day as you mean to go on. We've just got here, it's two degrees. Sign on, uh, see? And number, uh, two. number two. Obviously, Max is number one, so. Uh, <laughs> there you go, number two, <laughs> on the back of a Kellogg cereal box. On our way for a little warm up on the beast to the first stage. Stage one, undisclosed location obviously. The forest, very close to where we live. It's quite loamy, fairly flowy. There's a couple of little drops in it to be mindful of. Can ride round them. Plan is to uh, to get a number order starting from number two. Top of stage one, ready and raring. Three, two, one, go. Oh, come on. Oh my God. On, that bottom's out already. Oh my. This is brilliant. This is what retro racing is all about. Shall I go off it? Yeah, go on then. Oh, oh my God. Come on, boy. Oh my God, it's... Oh, mate, that is... That is wild. That was stage one. How? Can a little stage like that be so scary on one of these? But really good fun. Let's go and watch the other guys. Come on then, mate. <laughs> go on, he's go on. Oh, he's doing, he's doing it. it. Whoa. Go on, Obs. <laughs> yes, mate, go on. Oh, go on, Kev. Oh, oh, yeah. Go on, has he got it? Has he got it? Oh. Send it. Oh, come on. Hey! Oh, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, come on, come on, hustle, 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 come on. End the drop, go on. <laughs> yes, what a mate. There he is on the start gate, ready and raring. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Go on, lad. What are you? Doing? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh <laughs> damn! <laughs> 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 on our way to stage two, it's a little steeper. The stem on this thing really doesn't help. It may look good, but nah, not ideal. Let's go check it out. Stage two, everyone's having a little look at it now. It's a little different riding that little death trap that I've got. So um, obviously tiny narrow bars, all that good stuff, but no excuses. Let's, let's go check out where the finish is and then we go up to the top and send it. Start at stage two. You guys may remember this track that I've done a number of times on the normal bike, but that isn't on this this thing with the tiny bars and all that stuff. Let's get it. Right, I'm ready. Three, two, one, go! Oh, let's get it on the old... Oh, fucking hell, this thing is sketchy. Mate, that is so fun, but so sketchy. Well, that was actually super, super good fun. Probably wasn't all that fast, but it certainly felt it. Go on, lad. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he's. Go on, lad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, on it. Yes, Hobbsy. Go on, lad. Oh, yes, mate. Go on. On it. Go on, Pete. Go on, lad. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't miss it. <laughs> yes, boy. Come on, come on. Go on, lad. Oh, inside. It, oh, come on, Chris. Come on. Go on, lad. Oh, oh. <laughs> he looks so upright. Go on, lad. Look, look the exit. Look the exit. Oh, yes. <laughs> Go on, mate. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Run her in. Run her in. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> For goodness sake. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> oh, then, buddy boy. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh. No what? Right, there we go. That was stage two. That was actually super fun with this bike. Now we're on our way back to some woods to stage three. Oh. Top of stage three. Yeah. It's totally blind. Let's get it. Right, come on, then. let's just send this shit. Ready? Right, three, two, one, go. Oh, let's have it. Oh my God. Oh. Well, the track goes up. Didn't get told about that. Oh, where's it? Oh dear. That wasn't helpful doing it blind, that's for sure. Yes, Dad. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, mate. Oh. Yeah. Good lad. Come on. Sit. You're on, on it. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Here we are then. Start stage four. Let's get it. Three, two, one. Go. Oh. Wrong gear. A bit more pedally this one. I'm not gonna lie. Might suit the old Cannondale. Oh, a bit better. God, flipping that. The old tires struggling away. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was hard work. That was stage four, quite a pedal fest actually. So pretty pleased the chain stayed on. Gonna go up and watch a couple of the lads, especially Nick, who's not really got any brakes. We can definitely hear that squealing chicken. Go on, pedal. Go on, Aza, go on. Go on, lad. This is the problem. 
Do you imagine modern day tires actually go and pierce through the mud? The, the old school ones I've got are horrendous. They just bobble around like there's no tomorrow. And they were actually like pretty awesome tires back in the day as well. Let off those brakes. Go on, get up that hill. Now let's see that pedaling, son. Yeah. <laughs> Nick is the next man down. So obviously I'm going to put you guys on my head and we're going to follow him. It, oh, the, oh, the sort of squeaking. <laughs> oh my god. It's so gnarly with no brakes. Big open berm, you're fine round here. Oh. <laughs> the techers. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes, mate. Oh He's gone the wrong way. <laughs> Come on, finish up. <laughs> Go on, lad. Yes, mate. Stage five. It's a bit of a trap walk with the lads, so um, let's go have a little look. And this is where it gets a little technical. The chicken line is straight, or you have the a bit more advanced line where you go off this drop and then you go into this which is a bit gnarly on a old school bike no way no way am i going down there why not kev <laughs> i'll see you go first <laughs> i've got a feeling this stage will be very comical to watch so we'll wait and see she's there ready and raring let's get it two one go oh come on go up, oh you bastard <laughs> These things, mate. Right? Oh. oh my god, that is so unbelievable. The saddle is so in your backside. Come on, you got it, son. Yo, go on, mate. Go on, easy. Go on, mate. Go on, Andy. No, nice. nice. Go on. Let's have it. <laughs> Go on. 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 Eyes up. That's it. Tip it. Well done. Oh, yes. Oh, go on, lad. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, nice. No. <laughs> what are you doing down there? Beto! Beto! That was a real fun stage. Bit of carnage, not as much carnage as I was expecting actually. Top effort for bailing it before you got to jump in. <laughs> well, yeah. well done, Nick. Well, 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 well. Excellent, thank you. What a crack that was. In the scrutineering, I found out that these bars are actually 570. And when you think I normally run 800s, the difference is massive. I think if I was doing this again, I'd put wider bars on for sure. Oh, the biscuits, get it here, lovely. <laughs> She did me proud. I think we got first or second. It's a bit of hit or miss with the times. It's not about the race result. It's about the fun we've had. And it goes to show how much fun you can have on a retro bike. Real good laugh. It makes you realize how good the bike technology is these days. If you've enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you give it a thumbs up. Be sick if you subscribe. And until the next one, I'll see you in a bit. Ooh, yeah.